Hey, what's going on? I'm gonna explain to you in this video how I was able to make profit $1,700, $1,700 profit cash money off of other people's property, AKA trash to cash. And I'm also gonna show you a couple things that you can start doing so that you can take advantage of other people's unwanted property. You down with OPP? Cause you know me. After making it out of what I've been through, man, I'm just trying to better the quality of my life and those around me. And if I can help someone change their life in the process, that just makes my life that much more worth living. What is up? My name is Alex Fat Man the Flipper. I'm your friendly neighborhood fat man. And if you're new to the channel and you want to learn different ways that you can make money, cash, put it in your pocket, take it home with you, do whatever you want with it. Go ahead and start by subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell so you can be notified next time I upload a video. And hit the thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family so everybody can know that you can make a ton of money selling people's trash. That's right. Now, like I said, I'm gonna show you guys different screenshots right now, here uh, next, next to my face. There's gonna be some screenshots. And I'm gonna show you uh, the couple different things that I sold that ended up making a total of $1,700 from Sunday, from Sunday to Friday. That's five days. Yeah, because Friday's not even over yet. It's Friday right now. So five days, I was able to make $1,700 cash money. No shipping, no, um, you know, customer. It's like, it's so simple. It's so simple. But you might know some of these things, but I'm also going to show you how you can find other people's trash, other people's unwanted properties, and we can make some money. So let's get into it. If you didn't see the last video, I'll put a link to the description in the description. I'll put a link in the description, okay? Just so you could see that video and uh, see where I made the first $800. Um, and I'm just going to talk about the couple, the two other things that I sold that adds up to $900 cash that I got from other people that did not want it no more. Um, granted, one of them is something that my mother has in her house in Tennessee. I'm not even in Tennessee and I still made her $600. So technically, okay, my bad. I didn't make the total $1,700 because my mom's gonna keep the 600, but still, in a way, I did make those 1,700, right? So on Sunday, I made $800. I sold a go-kart. I sold a propane grill thing that you use to make gyros and, and tacos and stuff like that. And I sold a big ice fridge, right? made $800 cash on Sunday. The very next day, I believe it was the very next day, Monday or it was Tuesday, I sold a bumper to a Ford for $300 cash. Here it is. I listed it for 350. The guy offered 300 and I said, no problem. Now, here's what went through my mind. Who is this guy? Why doesn't he have a profile picture? How come he doesn't have any offers? Well, those kind of things will go through your head when you're dealing with you know offer up Facebook marketplace and things like that Facebook maybe not so much because the people actually have a profile but when you're dealing with offer up and let go you know especially if you've had some history where people kind of scam other people or whatever you kind of gotta you know pay attention to things you know and you kind of gotta be aware so this is a disclaimer if you're gonna sell stuff on offer up or let go be aware of who you're dealing with don't be afraid to ask questions make sure that the person is not going to scam you another one whenever you meet up with these people it's preferable that you meet up with them directly through the app a location that's already on the app usually it's a police station or fire station something like that but if you're not going to do that use your own discretion it's totally up to you if you want to exchange your phone number with them and all that uh, I do it on occasions. I'm not suggesting that you do. I want you to be as safe as possible. What I like to do is meet up with them in a public lit up place. So I actually met with this guy at a Shell gas station. I posted up right under the light, right next to traffic because I wasn't sure. I didn't see his face. Uh, you know, I don't know who he really is. You know what I'm saying? 
But the thing is that he was coming all the way from Pembroke Pines. Pembroke Pines is far away. So I had all these red flags pop up. So I show up to the place, I pull up. 10 minutes later, he's there. You know, he gave me $300 cash and I was happy to accept it and give him the bumper. And he even carried the bumper for himself. I offered him, hey, I'll, I'll help you carry it. He's like, is it that heavy? I'm like, it's really not, but I'll help you. He's like, no, no, I got it. So boom, $300 cash. And I go ahead and the very next day, my mom tells me, hey, I want you to list some stuff. I had to, you know, I motivated her, hey, send me pictures and whatever. She sends me the pictures. I switched the location for Kodak, Tennessee for that one listing. It was a bunk bed. I listed it for $800. And the reason I did that is because I looked at the market. And the market, when I did research, basically all you got to do is go on Google and type in whatever product it is you got. In this case, it was a log, wooden, a wooden log bunk bed right with a ladder so i looked that up and they're ranging anywhere from like a thousand to twelve hundred around there for really nice design ones are really expensive but this was just a plain old bunk bed as you see right here so i listed it for 800 because i knew that the market for a brand new one was about a thousand i already figured that it would sell for five to six hundred bucks and i knew that i would take six hundred dollars but that was me Whatever my mom wanted to do is what she wanted to do. So I asked her and she said, whatever, 600 is fine. And sure enough, a couple days later, somebody messages me right here. Is it still available? I'm like, yes, it is. And then, uh, but then I look at where they're at. They're in South Carolina. Here we go again. Someone that's not in the same area, in the same location, um, you know, and I don't know if they're for real or not. They tell me, would you take $600 cash? We'll pick it up tomorrow, weather permitting. And I'm like, let me ask my mother. So I call my wife, mom, they want 600. You good? She's like, yeah, I'm good, yeah, all right, boom. So, sure enough, I message them back. I tell them, look, here's my mother's number, hit her up, whatever, $600. They're gonna meet up with her. But I asked them, where are you located? And then they asked me this. Are you lo are you in Miami or, or, or Kodak? I'm confused. And I told him, look, man, I'm in Miami, but my mom's in Tennessee. I'm doing it. I'm listing this for her because she's not that good with technology. They're like, okay, cool. Consider it sold. $600 sold. Now, here comes the good part. This is how you can do the same thing. Now, obviously, this is something that, you know, my mother gave me, the other stuff, friends gave to me, things like that. But I do speak to my friends, I do speak to my family, and all the time people are calling me, texting me. Just the other day, a buddy of mine told me, hey, we got like five boxes of books, do you want them? And I honestly turned them down. But I would have took them if I wasn't in this position where I'm gonna be moving to Tennessee, because I don't wanna take extra stuff with me, I'm not trying to do all that. People call me all the time, telling me, hey man, we got this stuff for you. Why, because I tell people, hey, if you got anything, send it to me. But here's a better tip. If you want to do this and you don't have a lot of people to talk to or you're just shy to talk to people and tell them that, hey, I want to sell your trash, you know, because let's face it, people judge a lot, right? You don't like it when people judge you. So it's okay. What you can do is you can go on Craigslist. You can go on Craigslist. You can go on OfferUp. You can go on Let Go. You can even go on Facebook Marketplace and look up the words free stuff or look up the words curbside alert or curb alert. Curb alert is here in Miami. I don't know what it's like in your area, but you might have it where people just put stuff on the side of the road. They put it there knowing that other people are gonna come pick it up, but also the county comes and picks it up as trash. But if you can find it before anyone else and it's a good dresser or, man, I've found car parts. I've found so many things in the trash, uh, Apple, um, all kind of stuff, man. All kind of stuff in the trash that I've sold that made money with. You can do the same thing. Look for curb alerts and, and, and just message people that have free stuff. Try to be the first one there. And, and make money, man. Go get money. Go get yourself some extra money. Why not? There's nothing wrong with making a little bit more money. If you're doing it because you got somewhere you want to get to and you're getting that money to build something, you're getting that money to support something, a dream, a goal, a family, right? There ain't nothing wrong with it. So go out there, get your money. Don't look at trash the same. It's cash. It's big old dollar bills just hanging out on the side of the road and in people's backyards and in people's sheds. 
and in people's garages. They don't want it. Do, do the service for them. I'll take it out for you. I'll be the trash man. I'll throw this stuff out and make yourself some money. So if you enjoyed this video, you want to see me show you other ways that you can make free money. Like it's free. The money is free. You want me to show you how to do it. Go ahead and start by subscribing if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you can be notified next time I upload a video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with the world. So that everybody can make some money. Money is good. I love money. And I love you. My name is Alex, Fat Man the Flipper, your friendly neighborhood fat man saying peace, money, love. Oh! Not only is he fat, he flips. Not only does he flip, he's fat. Fat man. <laughs> <laughs> Is <laughs> <laughs> that too much? I'm totally using that.